Hey guys, it's David Vonerhaar here to tell you about our latest update to Black Ops 3. This update coincides with the Eclipse DLC, which is available now to PlayStation Nation because Activision is spelt with a dollar sign. This DLC features four brand new maps, well, three maps left over from original development and one reskin of a map nobody remembers, along with a Zombies experience which focuses on the original four characters because the four actors in the actual game are as forgettable as the reskin map, so of course we'll make people pay for it. What's that? DLC weapons, you ask? <laughs> Did you really think season pass holders would get access to all of the content for this game? Don't be silly. However, we've made a lot of weapon tweaks, so it'll make it seem as if we introduce a bunch of new guns, because nobody knows what the best weapons are anymore. First things first, as if they weren't already the strongest weapons in the game due to map design head glitches and high caliber view kick headshots, we buffed the recoil on some assault rifles including the ICR even though that gun doesn't have any recoil and on the HVK 30 along with helping it sprint to recovery speed. Rounding out the AR buffs are the semi-automatic rifles. The Shiva gets increased ADS and flinch stability along with having rapid fire actually work for it and on the MX Garand now because who knew that Call of Duty players can't make girls come with their trigger fingers? Oh, and on the subject of making supply drop weapons even more palatable for people to spend hundreds of dollars on, the HG-40 gets a 3 hit kill range increase. Other range buffs were given to the Razorback, although 1 hit kills in hardcore reduced, and a range buff to the Weevil so now you could get out of my mentions about requesting a buff. The speed reduction while firing was removed from the Razorback, Weevil, Pharaoh, and Vesper, thus making stocks on SMGs useless like in Black Ops 2, except for the CUDA and VMP which actually got a nerf in this area somehow. Buffs to the ADS speed were also given to the Weevil, Pharaoh, and Vesper along with a recoil reduction to the latter. The shotguns were all buffed except for the Brecky which still destroys everything in its path anyways. The KRM-262 got a range buff but still shoots marshmallows like around a campfire and the Argus will have a better one hit kill range while hip firing to remove those pets pesky point blank hit markers. I know we should have just made it a KSG, but that would have been too easy. Instead, we're buffing the gun to the point of a KSG, yet making it a buckshot such that it still has the randomness and inevitably frustration. All of the LMGs were buffed in regards to ADS speed amongst other things, and we also increased recoil stability for several sight attachments and finally made laser sight actually a viable thing to use. We also changed around a bunch of specialists with a generic nerf to the earn rate in the hardpoint game mode, much to the delight of esports players everywhere because that's where we get our directives from. Reaper was nerfed in both accuracy and ammo count down to 100, even though most people still won't shoot through that many bullets before dying. Outrider got a major buff in both aiming and increased ammo to 10, which makes the arrows more annoying than the 6 war machine rounds. Buffs to the earn rates of Overdrive, Rejack, and Psychosis, along with nerfs to the earn rates of Heat Wave and Kinetic Armor round out the changes to your support streaks. Speaking of streaks, Annie Up was buffed to give out 150 points instead of 100 to start in order to help out getting those kill streaks that are still way overpriced for how shitty they mostly are. We did try to help out though as we buffed the Rolling Thunder to increase the drone count and entry speed to make those ceiling bangs even more prevalent. We also buffed the wraps in the same way to have more drones and faster speed although it still doesn't resemble Sonic. We also changed the ricochet rules for care packages being dropped on teammates that purposely stood under it at the beginning of a round because just like the now gen consoles, we hate trolling too. Other random fixes include the 100%er challenge now actually being able to get unlocked which of course wasn't tested until this point in the game's life cycle to have actually people who finished it all. There were tons of issues with the NX Shadow Claw regarding bolts remaining after death, sound, and graphical glitches. See what happens when you rush us to put shit in supply drops, Hirschberg? We also added spawn trap logic to Nuketown, stylized with a 3, as if there is any room for people to spawn in when you have people flying through the air and also spawn logic on rounds 2 and 4 because we're odd. Get it? It's a play on words? 
Never mind. Oh, and we patched an exploit whereby players were able to gain extra momentum at the end of a slide. We can't have people moving around the map too fast. That would go against our passive play design philosophy. And no, we didn't do anything to address the fact that matches are still as unbalanced as Angelina Jolie's tits. The last time we tried to fix something, everyone accused us of introducing skill-based matchmaking, so I'd rather just leave it alone than get death threats again. Unlike the first DLC, we didn't package the maps directly with the patch so that this way you're not getting locked out of the content that's already on your hard drive behind a paywall. We listened to the Schwantz 27's video from yesterday and it makes total sense. However, Activision would really rather you just have the maps because we're confident that many people will be snatching up the season pass in order to play on these new maps. We live in an instant gratification society after all, and I know that you're getting bored with the game. Believe me, I've seen those videos. Come on now, just give Dad Daddy Vaughn, the extra cash that you got back from doing your taxes, and forget about how we're screwing over season pass owners by putting DLC in a slot machine. You want our map leftovers.